Today we're going to take a deep dive into one of the biggest family feud in the infamous ancient Egypt. What led to the hatred that caused Cleopatra to kill her sister Arsino? Why couldn't she forgive her? Keep watching this video to find out. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. At the time when the conflict between Egypt and Rome began, Cleopatra believed that Egypt should deal with the ever-expanding Roman Empire by forming an alliance with it rather than engaging in a battle. Her younger sister, Arsino, disagreed. This life-changing political opinion should not be underestimated. This difference of opinion on the correct way to approach the Roman Empire would quite change the course of history. Ptolemy and Arsino forced their elder sister to leave Egypt because of their political disagreements. As we all know, Cleopatra would not stay away for too long. In fact it is this sibling squabble that brought Julius Caesar to Egypt on a trip that would become legendary in the year 48 BC for all of the wrong reasons. It was a trip that would involve intrigue, betrayal, sex, scandal, rebellion, and power. Julius Caesar's arrival in Alexandria set the stage for Cleopatra's return to her homeland and fueled the flames for a showdown between the royal siblings, Cleopatra, Ptolemy, and Arsino. Arsino, who is estimated to have been in her mid-teens around the context of this time, was to be betrayed by her elder sister who was now 22 years old. It is widely known that Cleopatra used her slender build to roll herself up into a fine and expensive rug which was ordered to be placed inside Julius Caesar's quarters. Ptolemy and Arsino were not aware of this until the morning. It is believed that Cleopatra begged Julius Caesar, the 55-year-old friend of her deceased father, to restore her to her rightful place as Queen of Egypt making use of her famed beauty marked by her full cheeks, straight nose, short neck and small chin when she was in the prime of her life, according to Cassius Dio. Arsino, who is believed to have been equally as beautiful with similar physical features to her elder sister, did not use her feminine wiles to charm Julius Caesar. At the time, Engaging in sexual intercourse with a Roman was considered to be an act of treason. Indeed, the gritty political drama between Cleopatra and Arsino truly takes shape here. When Ptolemy found his exiled elder sister in the bed of Julius Caesar the next morning, the soldiers who supported Ptolemy and Arsino's belief in going to war with the military might of Rome launched an attack on Julius Caesar's small force of men. If we examine this from the perspective of Arsino, it is understandable why she and her supporters would have felt betrayed by Cleopatra. It is apparent that they would have been under the impression that Cleopatra had sold Egypt to the Roman Empire. Amongst this chaos, we are aware that Julius Caesar took Arsino as a hostage, alongside Ptolemy. So, what does this tell us? It informs us that Julius Caesar himself did not doubt the political abilities of Arsino or Ptolemy, whom he feared could morph into leaders and figureheads for the men attacking Julius Caesar's soldiers. Julius Caesar and his Roman forces were already outnumbered and he sent for reinforcements, which would take several weeks to arrive by sea. Thus, the balance of power was unclear amongst the flames and fury, and the tables of history could have easily turned. However, Julius Caesar told his own men to go and set the ships in the harbor alight. This, in turn, enabled an inferno to sweep across the city, which led the men in support of Arsino and Ptolemy run away from the palace, where they turned their attention to curbing the fire in the city. This was a move that would lead to a great opportunity for Julius Caesar slash Cleopatra and Arsino herself. 
Whilst Julius Caesar used this moment to send his troops to one of the nine ancient wonders of the world, the Pharos Lighthouse, which controlled all of the ships entering into Alexandria, Arsino seized the opportunity to flee from her royal prison. This was a move of great courage undertaken by Arsino, who would have only been between 13 to 16 years old. She was rebelling against Rome and against the notorious Julius Caesar himself. Arsino was choosing to rebel army over the expansionist Roman army, risking her life for her political views. This is evidence that Arsino possessed as much ambition and drive as her more famous sister. The rebel forces who supported Arsino's less peaceful foreign policy towards the Roman Empire had taken Arsino from Julius Caesar and Cleopatra's clutches and brought her into their city-based headquarters. It seems apparent that the rebel forces were also not in any doubt that the younger sister of Cleopatra could be her match. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. We can verify this because the rebel forces declared Arsino their queen, not the eminent Cleopatra. In her name, the rebel forces launched a surprise attack on Julius Caesar at the lighthouse of Pharos, which left Julius Caesar needing to swim for his life. Many books of the ancient world seem to have forgotten this part, an attack launched by a teenage girl left Julius Caesar in fear of his life. Arsino and her rebel forces took siege of the lighthouse at Pharos, a motif of her own dynasty's power, leaving Julius Caesar to stumble back to Cleopatra at the palace, having survived Arsino's attack by swimming further out to sea. Arsino raised Julius Caesar's purple cloak onto the lighthouse of Pharos as a mark of her impressive victory. However, Arsino's victory over Julius Caesar and Cleopatra did not last for long. Julius Caesar's reinforcements arrived, whilst the rebels bickered amongst themselves about the affairs of ancient Egypt. These reinforcements, brought across from Syria, launched a counterattack against Arsino and her men. The Roman legions went into Egypt and drowned Ptolemy, as the young boy tried to flee across the Nile. One of Cleopatra's main rivals for the throne was dead, thanks to the dirty work of her lover, Julius Caesar, who was determined to fulfill his promise to her that he would make her sovereign. Arsino remained alive for now. A while later Julius Caesar takes hostage of Arsino once more with him back to Rome. Arsino, the teenage rebel who dared to challenge the power of Rome was to become subject to its crowds. Julius Caesar sought to have Arsino strangled after she was paraded in chains through the streets of Rome as an example of what happened to those who fought against the powers of the Roman Empire, even if they were merely a teenagers. However, the people of Rome were horrified at the notion of murdering this little girl, who had tears streaming down her face and was miles from her homeland. Julius Caesar understood that killing Arsino would turn the crowds against him so he spared Arsino's life. Instead of being murdered for taking on the Roman Empire, the younger sister of Cleopatra was provided with the promise of safety in the name of Artemis and her temple located in the large Roman province of Ephesus. Indeed, Arsino was to enter another one of the ancient world's wonders by taking up residence in the temple of Artemis. This Greco-Roman goddess was the protector of political hostages and Arisno undoubtedly felt a huge relief that Cleopatra could not reach her here in sacred walls and many miles away from Egypt. Unfortunately, Arsino's safety was no longer assured after Julius Caesar was stabbed 23 times on the March 15, 44 BC. His death left Arsino within the grasp of her elder sister once again, as a certain Mark Antony had connections to Ephesus. 
When Mark Antony sought money from Cleopatra and Cleopatra sought the death of her younger sister, their relationship was suddenly mutually advantageous. This was evident when the dead body of Arsino was found on the Temple of Artemis Steps. Arsino's teenage body was buried beneath a structure matching the lighthouse of Pharos. A motif of her brief and short-lived victory against Rome and Cleopatra. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.